everybody, welcome back to Thumb FPV. Today we're going to go over the Snapmaker 2.0 3D printer quality settings. Uh, now there are actually six of these that are preloaded into the software and we're going to go over those real quick and I'm going to show you exactly which one is which, what came from what setting and what to expect while printing under these settings. Okay, so for the first piece that we have right here, this is just the normal fast print setting. Didn't do too bad of a job. Good detail. Not too much gaps. There's a little hole there on the side. But overall, it turned out really good. The back was nice and flat. It's got two little holes on it. It's supposed to go on like a keychain or something right there. Um, now the next one, this is just the normal quality. Still did really good though. Back is nice and flat. Still had the little hole right there on the side. But nothing bad. Um, this one is the high quality. Just regular high quality. Um, there is a little bit of stringy right there in the corner. Again, nothing major. It looks, uh, the higher the quality, the drier the print. I did notice that if you see the difference in this to here, the top one is definitely more shiny. Uh, the next one, these are the A350s over here. This is the high quality setting, A350. see the back on it's a little bit different the next one is normal quality a350 this did not turn out so hot it has got like a little filament stuck to the tip right there what I'm not sure and then the last one is the a350 fast print Something else uh, reflecting on one of my other videos after pulling this up, I did notice. Um, I did notice that from fast print to fast print, they do have they are the shiniest, and then the high quality kind of seems to go dry or whatever. Um, but that's how those all turned out. Uh, so now that we've looked at the different quality settings, now I'm gonna take a look exactly at uh, how much filament and what the time is per piece. Okay, so here in our uh, software, uh, Snapmaker Lumen program we have, um, this is where you're going to find your print settings. Here's your profiles. Um, there are six of them total. You have your fast print, normal quality, high quality, A350 high quality, A350 normal quality, and A350 fast print. So those are your just general profile settings. Uh, you can go through, bring this down a little bit, change one to the other. It will change the settings within the profile. Like if you see 0 0.16, 0 0.2 initial layer line width is 100 for normal quality. You go to fast print, it does change it a little bit. So, and while you are using these top settings right here the fast print the normal quality and the high quality none of these settings for any of the shelf thickness the quality any of that is able to be altered so if you want to be able to alter these settings you have to come down here to the a350 and then now it'll give you the options to go through and change whatever you want to change okay so the piece that I'm working with here that I did for this video um, is this small Harley Davidson emblem over here. I'm going to hit generate G code so I can get some information on it. The total uh, length on this is 0.8 meters. The total weight is 2.5 grams and it estimates that it takes 23 minutes when doing this on the A350 high quality. 
Okay, so that that is not, um, I guess this is just a suggestion, that's not how long it took for the A350 high quality. Uh, this piece actually took 37 minutes and 15 seconds. Um, I did go through and document all of these. Uh, the fast prints, let's see. Hold on. Start, for, start this from the top. Fast print. So we have to go back through and regenerate the G code for this to take effect. Okay, there we go. So it's at 17 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and close these windows so we can see all of this together. There we go, 17 minutes. Uh, when I ran this, it actually took 19 minutes and 12 seconds. The normal quality print says 30 minutes. That was a little bit closer. It took 30 minutes and 16 seconds by the timer. These are all actual times that I took directly from the touchscreen teach pendant for the a350 this, this is when it was done this is exactly how much time that it took um, the high quality took the same amount of time I'm just gonna see what it says in here the high quality says it's an hour and 12 minutes okay um, moving down to the a350 high quality it said that it was at uh, 23 minutes work time on there um, it actually took like over an hour, hour and seven minutes, and I don't, I don't know why. Uh, the normal quality on this, uh, when I ran it, was an hour and 48 minutes, which was way high. I don't understand why it took so long. And then the fast print on it, as far as me printing it at the end of it was 37 minutes and 15 seconds so there, there is a little variance in the uh, times here um, overall for what I showed you though from piece to piece I, I don't really see unless you're working on something super fine that you feel the need to you just have to like have just the 350 settings for Without being able to toggle them, I don't know why um, I'm not going to use them very often. Um, are they nice? Yeah, they're not bad. One of them did have a couple imperfections in it that the regular settings did not. Um, also, on average, the original settings took around half of the time. So, I don't know. I, I don't really see a reason here uh, as to why you would print extra long I mean the backs on them looked a little different a little more detailed or whatever but for just basic printing there, there's no reason why you shouldn't just use the normal settings up here at the top the fast print the normal quality and the high quality I mean, you can literally do two in the time that you would do one for everything down here um, so I did leave these uh, just as they were fresh out of the box going down through here um, as far as the um, quality for the prints, these ones are able to be altered. If you have the software, um, I used exactly what it said. I didn't alter any of these. And again, they do change depending on what you want to use for a profile but that's just something I wanted to share with you guys real quick I definitely stick with the normal settings on this uh, hope you guys like this video I got a lot more ideas for this coming up so stay tuned and I have another video up soon thanks for watching